So a few weeks ago, I was donating clothes at Salvation Army and the employee told me that they were gonna do a $2 clothing sale soon. Today's the day. It was very busy. <laughs> I figured there would be a lot of people and then when I walked in, it was honestly like 10 times more than what I'm used to seeing. My overall experience was pretty good. I spent a while just like looking through all the stuff. I was able to get five items for $10. The line was long, but I was only in line for like 10 minutes. Went by really fast. So yeah, it was pretty cool. I've never been to like a $2 sale before. But I'm gonna go home and wash the clothes first. And then I'll try to style the new items with what I currently have in my closet. And hopefully I'll have some cool fits come out of it. First item I picked out is this long bodycon dress. I typically don't go for these types of dresses because bodycons tend to emphasize how straight my body is. But I think as I've gotten older, I've become more confident in how I view my body. I'm also 5'3", so longer dresses can make me look a bit short. Surprisingly, this dress is very flattering and it's so versatile. I can pair it with a cardigan, throw a crop top over the dress so it doubles as a skirt. I can even tuck it into my jeans and now it's a cute tank top. The material and color reminds me a lot of a dress I used to own but donated a while ago so it's funny that I ended up buying something very similar. The next piece is this cozy brown sweater. I'm not sure what you would call this material but it caught my eye as soon as I saw it. It's the perfect sweater to wear right now in California and I can wear it with most of my jeans or leggings. When I wear it with my flared leggings, I feel like I should be living in Seattle going to a yoga class or something. It is on the longer side, so I use the shoelace method to help me redefine the length. I'm honestly in love with this sweater. It's so comfortable and cozy, so I wear it around the house and when I go to run errands. I'm really glad I picked it out. Next up is this gray knit sweater from Abercrombie. I own a lot of sweaters because I'm always really cold, but I couldn't pass this one up because it's such a thick quality sweater. Plus, it was only $2 and that's such a steal. I'm pretty sure it would have sold for, I don't know, $60 at full price? Even though it's a pretty standard looking sweater, I think it surprised me how nice it fit. Sometimes you need a good staple sweater and I'm glad I have this one. I know. I know. It's another sweater. But this one is different because it's a thin sweater. I'm always drawn to pastel colors in any sweaters with a round, thick neckline. The thickness is perfect for springtime. I can pair it with most of my jeans or a skirt. The back of the sweater is longer compared to the front, which makes the sweater a little more interesting. It's a simple sweater, but I think it'll be good when I need to quickly throw an outfit together. The last piece is some golfing shorts. I do not golf, but I like to mini golf, so maybe I can wear these out the next time I go. When I think of khaki, I think of Target workers, but when I see khaki shorts, I think of the safari. But these shorts are really nice and flowy. I knew that they would be a bit long for my legs though, so I'll need to fix that later. For now, I just fold the waistband over once. I'll be wearing these more often once it starts to warm up. I can pair it with all the different crop tops I own. I stole this cardigan from my sister, by the way. Isn't this blue color so nice? I think it goes well with my skin tone, but I kind of stray from color most of the time, so. And that concludes my $10 thrift haul. I would say my favorite item was the dress just because it's so versatile and it'll make me feel confident on the days I want to be spicy. I usually just like to wear clothes that are somewhat oversized though, so the brown sweater is definitely a close second. I can see myself wearing this one pretty often. I hope you enjoyed my haul of all my $2 thrift finds and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!